I'm all over the road. Why is it? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh shit, that's the order. <laughs> Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another fantastic day on planet Earth. This is my hog. Hey, hey. Uh, it's a Yamaha Fina, Fino, Felina, Fiona. It's a Yamaha Fiona. It's about 10 years old. It makes a right racket. It feels very, very unsafe because nothing actually feels connected to anything else. Anyway, I was given a task of fixing it. So I took everything apart and put it all back together and it made it worse. So then I proceeded to fix it again. And I took everything apart and changed the carb on it. The carburetor actually cost me 333 baht, including next day delivery, which is about six pound, <laughs> something like that. We tried to start it this morning and it wouldn't start, so we found out the spark plug's all coked up and knackered because the car was, the old car was running so rich, it was incredible. So anyway, um, I said I'd, I'd bring it out for a, a joy ride, test ride, some kind of ride. The speedo doesn't work, nothing works. I should have put protective gear on, this does not feel safe. I'm doing about, what, 20 miles an hour, it feels like I'm doing a ton. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. It is a very feminine sort of bike with flowers all over it, but I don't care. Look at me knuckles. <laughs> oh my god. I've never held onto a bike so tight in all my life. It feels like something is about to fall off. It's making a right noise on the output shaft. I don't know what's broken. Something doesn't feel right to me. But apparently, apparently that's how these things feel. Shall we see what acceleration it's got? Although I haven't got a speedo, so I don't know. Oh, this is breaking my spine, man. Although I don't know how fast we're actually going. We must be doing at least 90 mile an hour. And I think the rear shock has gone as well. Do the indicators work? Has it got an indicator? It's got an indicator switch. But I don't know if it does it anything. <laughs> oh shit, that's the horn. <laughs> I wonder if this fuel gauge is right. I was told it's got half a tank, but I don't know what half a tank is. I mean, it'll do about 120 to the gallon, I think these things do. But it's not had a proper run for a long, long time. And to be honest, I'm not really surprised because nobody's brave enough to actually get on it. Apparently, it's had an oil change once. <laughs> Ran along on my hog. Why doesn't it go straight? What's wrong with it? Should we go left? I want to get off this main road. I don't like it. Yes, yes, we'll go left. Oh no, sand! Oh yeah, the other thing as well is the seat is held on with nothing. There's a lot of dogs down here. I don't like this. Oh no. No. No, <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> micro light. Shall I go up in a micro light or whatever they call it? That, that looks like it's about 30 or 40 years old. Can I go this way? Does this way take you anyway? <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> I got the wrong way. <laughs> oh, look. This is the, the, the local micro light place. And if I go back this way, that means I've got to go past that bleeding dog. What I'm going to have to do, as soon as I get round this corner, I've got to open it up and hopefully I don't run the dog over. Or soil myself. Where is he? He's probably friggin' hiding now, isn't he? I don't know what this place is. It's, it's like a, a lost time sort of place with a speed ramp in it. Just so the dogs can get a good bloody grip on your balls as you go past. Oh, no brakes! No brakes! No. Oh, shit. Um, brakes don't work. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> it sounds like, like metal on metal pounding somewhere. And the vibration's getting a bit bad through the steering. We've got to rayong. <laughs> oh my god. If you get over a certain noise a certain speed, the noise disappears. Which is quite worrying. Oh no, this is the main I'm not going on the main bloody drag, am I? Oh no 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 no. <laughs> I've just it <laughs> myself. <laughs> I locked the back wheel up and I'm not going to stop here. <laughs> Let it go. Where am I? The fuel gauge is on red. I've got a bit of a... Oh no. 
I've got range anxiety now. Why is everybody overtaking me? I'm going really fast. My arse muscles are just clenched. I just can't, they, they can't go any tighter. If I run out of fuel, somebody's going to be in trouble. Oh, you've got to have a tank. You'll be all right. No, no. I've got no... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die out here. <laughs> this is where Arctic. Uh, this is where Arctic's turn around and stuff. Lorries, buses. You know, you're doing 60 up here, and then suddenly an Arctic or a bus just turns out in front in front of you, or tractor. Yes, I've had that as well. I think I may at some point soil myself. That's if I haven't already. I'm holding on. I, I don't. My my knock ah my fingers hurt. Oh yay! Nine kilometers. Are you joking? This fuel gauge is at the bottom of the red, and and I've got nine kilometers to go. When the range is probably none. This thing just does not like going. It's just not. No, it doesn't go around bends. It doesn't matter how much you pull. It just does not want to go around. We've got a a bit of downhill now. I can. Ah, oh no. I'd just like to add that I'm hard as nails because at no point during this ride have I started crying. It's come very close quite a few times, but I haven't started crying yet. Oh my god, what's this bloke doing behind me? Don't go, don't go that close, please, 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 please. I'm not in control of this thing, really. I'm going to tackle this bend. Ugh. It doesn't, it just doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> bends at my feet because of the vibrations my feet are tingling my knuckles I can't I'm not going to be able to straighten my hands again I'm going to have trigger finger in every one of them <laughs> I, I've never never ridden anything where the front is just not connected to the back at all oh my god that fuel gauge is right oh that is off the bloody scale now. Oh, I've got about a kilometre to go. <laughs> there is no fuel in this whatsoever now. I, I don't know how long it's going to last. Oh, look at this barbecue. It's every single corner. I've got to indicate now. Oh, God. Oh, God. We've got to indicate. Oh, this is going to be a bend. We've got to go around. A Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, put my foot out. <laughs> my hands, I think I'm going to have to have surgery to remove them from the grips. Ah! Ah! <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I made it back and we've got, we've got less than no fuel. I'm going to catch you next time. And I'd like you to remember that life is definitely worth living on this measly earth. All you're going to do is get out there do what makes you happy, do what makes you smile and bollocks to what anybody else thinks. Everything fine. What? Goes perfect. <laughs> <laughs>